morning, Stephen. Good morning, Tim. Uh, thank you so much for hosting the Herefordshire Directors Forum a month or so ago. We had 20, 30 local directors come to see you, and um, it was a great evening. We had a very diverse set of presentations from your colleagues. Uh, tell me, what is it that makes Thornwoodry such a different practice from the run of the mill accountancy practice? I think there are two things that make a fundamental difference. The first is putting yourself in the position of the client and understanding what it's like for them running their business and the types of problems and opportunities and excitements and barriers and all the rest of it that they have to deal with on a day-to-day -day basis. And the second thing is to suggest and challenge. Many accountants that I've come across in the past, they will respond with an answer if you give them a question. Can I do this? Can I do that? Yes, you can. No, you can't. They will occasionally make fairly routine types of suggestions, which is, well, you should be doing this, you should be doing that, because it's a well-worn path of uh, tax mitigation, shall we say, or business assistance. But in my experience, very few look at it from the perspective of the client running the business. We try and show that we care and we think about our clients. If you're doing the same thing this year as you were doing last year, you're going backwards. It's as simple as that. Mm. You used to be based right in the city centre, mm, right in the middle of Hereford, and um, you took the decision to move out to this beautiful purpose-built park here at Wye Vale. How has that altered the way you do things? What, what impact has it had on you, this move? It's f so much better here because we've got space, we've got room to expand, room to breathe, we've got a modern building, we've got a room here that uh, you can see, and we have functions in it all the time. It's constantly busy with functions happening, HDF over here. Um, three or four weeks ago, whenever it was, and it just gives us the opportunity to present ourselves because we had a really quite a small building uh, at the front, and people used to come into reception and think we were a tiny little firm. One of the things that fascinated the um, the visiting company directors was this uh, zero accounting concept. Now, this is new to me, and it was new to quite a lot of people in the room. Could you explain in simple terms just how zero accounting works? It's a cloud-based accounting system. Uh, so that means you don't have it on premise, you just need an internet connection for it to work. Zero is an accounting system, it does exactly the same thing as another telephone, does exactly the same thing as other accounts, it will give you your profit and loss on your balance sheet and all that sort of stuff. But it's how it goes about doing it. With uh, the requirement of certain business rules, so you've got to maintain the integrity of the database and you can't just put stuff in willy-nilly, but within those business rules, you can push anything into zero electronically and you can take anything out of zero electronically. So, Xero becomes an accounting system that links with bank feeds, that links with CRM systems, that links with more complicated stock systems. It pulls bank data out of all our bank accounts into Xero on a day-to-day -day basis. So, you open Xero at 9.30 in the morning and it's got all your day-to-day -day bank entries from your bank accounts, bank accounts plural. All of them are in there already. How do you go about marketing uh, form widgery? Because marketing seems to be as one of the most volatile of the business segments that, that all businesses face. I mean, there's blogging and there's speaking, you mentioned earlier on, and there's newsletters and websites. I mean, what, how do you see the business of marketing on Woodgery? Well, I'm 55, and I think I may be about to say a politically incorrect thing, mm -hmm. but I am not a big fan of, uh, what do we call it, new media, whatever it's called, blogging. Social media. Social media, mm. thank you. I am not a big fan of that in our industry. If you are back to these things, if you're doing something new and exciting and you've got an app that you want, you know, WhatsApp or whatever it was that came out, and you want to get it to a mass B2C market, fantastic. I think that's exactly the right thing. Absolutely superb. I believe in our business, um, it's, it's a people business. It's an old cliche, people buy from people, blah, blah, blah. But actually, there are loads and loads of people saying, we can do this, we can do this, we can do this. But actually, you need to meet them and actually see whether you can work with them and whether you get on with them. Mm -hmm. So most of our marketing is... We have one or two people whose job it is to go out and represent the firm. I'm sure you know at least one of them, Andy Edwards. Um, and pretty much everybody in Hereford knows Andy Edwards, I suspect, for one reason or another. Um, but he's doing his job then. Yeah, that's right. And he's Absolutely. taking the word and he's talking to people. Absolutely. And then we do a lot of uh, work here, as I've said, with presentations and so on. Yeah, Stephen, it's been a real pleasure. Thank you, Tim. You. We could have gone on for another two hours. <laughs> But, uh, thank you very much for your hospitality. My pleasure. Thank you for looking after us. I think you do a brilliant job with HDF. That's kind. You of and you. Sharon, you're, you're, you, you do, you both do, in your sphere, what I'm trying to do in the accountancy sphere, which is get better, think forward, develop, 
you can always improve, you can always make things better. And I think you guys help us as well, because we use you, as you know, and um, we gain a lot from that, and I, I would urge anybody listening to this to do the same, because you can never stop improving. Thank you very much, Steve. Cool. Thank you.